I really didn't think this was gonna be that bad, but after getting these results, like, I don't even know how the things in my tank are still alive. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fish Friday. Today we're going to be diving into the ICP results for my Red Sea Max 250 tank and we're going to be meeting some subscribers to give them some corals that they won in the last giveaway that we did. I finally got around to ordering an ICP test. They actually lost my results or, or, or couldn't find them for a bit. Then they tracked them down, they found them, my results are in and it's not great. Honestly, I'm not really sure how everything's alive. Right in this envelope are not the results because they are digital, so we just pull those up online. I went ahead and did the ATI kit. I bought it on like Amazon. I'll drop a link down below. Basically, they ship it to you with the label on where you gotta put it, and then you fill your waters, follow all the instructions, you ship it out, and then boom, you just wait and wait and Hope everything is okay in the meantime. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe button and turn those notifications on. We got new videos every single week. You're gonna wanna be here for it. Before we get into the test results, let's see what's going on in the tank. The Red Sea Max 250 is what we did the ICP test on, just to get a full workup and see what is going on in this tank. Really, the only serious issue that I have still is the Sino. Uh, I've slowly been taking out a little bit of the sand because I feel like my deep sand bed is also another issue for nutrition buildup and stuff like that. Nutrients? Nutrition? Nutri nutrients? Other than that, everything literally grows great. Like, everybody's happy, everybody's thriving, everybody is living life. Look at these blastos. Even though they're surrounded by cyano, they are just crazily multiplying and they are just fluffy and fat and they love it. The other main reason I wanted to run this test is because my Monty caps were acting weird. It actually started happening after I started doing the Coral Aminos by Brightwell. The tips of all of the Monty started kind of like paling out and getting all weird on me. I wasn't sure if it was because of that or a test, so that's why I ran it. I kind of dialed back on that a lot and everything seems to be doing a lot better. The Montes have some good new growth, like it doesn't look dirty anymore, it just looks like fresh. If it was related to the coral minos, I think it was just because of the fact that I might have been dosing too much. I was, I mean, I was reading the instructions, but maybe my Montes just didn't like that much. I'm not sure. Hey, focus on me. Hey, so that is what's going on in the tank. Enough of that. Before we get into the results, let's bag up some coral and meet some subscribers. Just made it to Beverly's for the giveaway. I think this place is squatted right now. That thing is massive. I think they, they didn't get their shipment yet. They sold out. You had that. I did have that. When I first got my tank, he didn't make it with the ick, ick outbreak. I wanted to show you guys some cool fish, but unfortunately it looks like they have sold out all their stuff and their new shipment hasn't came in just yet, so. Eh, maybe next time. On the way out, ran into the winners here. So who actually who actually won? Be me and him. Both of you? Alright, nice. I got it right here. My, my he's, card's right he's here. He's the one that watches with me. Oh yeah? Sweet. Yeah. Jose, Bianca, nice to meet you. And you guys? Hi, Dario. Dario? What's your name? Andrea? <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> That's your coral. There's kind of red speckling out now. Nice. What, uh, what size tank you got? Huh? What size tank? 65. 65? So I, I gotta know, who left the comment? It's a nice coral, but it looks better in my tank. That, that would be me. That was that you? Be... All right, so you guys wanna see the tank then, right? Nice meeting Thank you. you, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Have fun guys, Bye. thanks. All right, all right. I see you guys with this tank. I see that dope and enemy at the corner. And I also peeped those, what are they, eight, eight cans or, I think they're eight cans or blastos maybe, bottom right hand corner the yellow ones those are those are really nice too my my piece isn't the brightest in this tank but it does stick out thank you guys for sending your pictures in and meeting up it's super cool to see corals that i grew in my tank and fragged out and everything to you guys like it's it's awesome that is a sweet frag you see all that red starting to grow out of the green It's like this cup holder was built for corals. Let's go find ourselves a Kevin, huh? If I had to guess, I would say that that is Kevin right over there. <laughs> Kevin? Hey, we got some coral for Kevin. What's going on, man? Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. God, that's so red. Be a little careful because it could like barely fit in there, so I had to like kind of tilt it. It's got all the red coming out, like 
yeah, around the really whole rim. Nice. Yes, awesome. It's my first yeah. one, so it's great. Oh yeah, the first <laughs> one? Sure. That's dope. You were telling me you got a 10 gallon, right? right? It's a 10 first, gallon. First, first tank. Yeah. So I'm kind of high. first one. It's pretty basic, but it's going. Yeah. How long have you had it up? Uh, about a year now. Oh, super sick. I'm yeah. super excited this is going yeah, yeah, yeah. in there. Are you going to send a picture with it, like, wherever you place it? Yeah, of course, it? of course. I'll send you exactly where I put it. I have a little no. ledge already picked out. So oh, yeah? Perfect. Yeah, Yeah, I want a 10 gallon. Maybe coming soon, guys. <laughs> Do we'll, it. we'll see. Kevin came, what, 45 minutes? 45 minutes. 45 minutes? Hey! <laughs> All right, thanks so much. Thank send the you. picture. Awesome, will do. Really nice meeting you. Thank you. you. Have a good Drive one. safe. Take care. Sweet tank, Kevin. I mean, the frag that I gave him is pretty large, and it looks huge in his tank, which is dope, because that's, that's the thing that's so cool about Nano and Pico tanks, is that you put little frags in, and they look like colonies. I think you picked an awesome spot for it. Hopefully, it kind of grows towards the back wall, so that you don't have to trim it too much, and, you know, obviously, you don't get too much shading on it, but that thing looks prime all right let's get to these icp results so let's start off with the ro i sent in with the ati kit you're able to send in an ro sample and your tank sample first up we got the ro sample obviously the salinity is zero because it's ro everything else on this ro looked really good except for the silicon the silicon was high it was 13.7 i'm not sure if that's a game changer or not nitrate is a little low but it shouldn't nitrate be zero why does the ideal value zero? If it's RO, wouldn't it be zero? That's pretty much it on the RO. Nothing crazy there because all the stuff is really supposed to read nothing. That's the whole point. But if you were to get something back, it would probably be like telling you to change your filters. I really didn't think this was gonna be that bad, but after getting these results, like I don't even know how the things in my tank are still alive. This does not look good. Right off the bat, salinity is good. Good to go, salinity. Carbon, carbonate hardness, I'm pretty sure that's like alk. It, yeah, because it puts the ideal value at 7.5 and mine was a bit high at 9.96. I was keeping my alk around 9.5. I have since dropped back. I'm around like 8.5 to 9 now. I just felt like it was too high. As it is, I'm dosing so much alk. I just wanted to have more of a more of a window for error. I'm pretty sure when I do my water change, that water comes at 8, 8, 8.5, I think. I don't remember exactly, but this was before I decided to start lowering it. We are good on the chloride, sodium, magnesium, the calcium. That's a lie. That's a lie. I take that back. The calcium is high. The ideal is 3.391. I was 480. My calcium was high too, guys. I have also since been trying to drop that back. I was keeping it at 450. I I mean, no. I haven't really been trying to drop that back. I don't know why I'm telling you guys all these fibs. I was keeping it at 450. I saw it went higher. This was really high, 480. That's not good. But I have been trying to keep it between 400 to 450. That's like the range. I usually come in around like 420, 430. I've been testing once a week and I am back up a little bit. So I dialed back one milliliter on my calcium dosage. Hopefully that helps. Potassium is good. Bromine is very low. Stronium is a little bit high, not too bad. It's off like two. Boron, I literally feel like I'm in science class. Boron and fluorine are one's up and one is down. 1.7 of a difference on boron and fluorine isn't that big of a difference. It's only 0.5. But granted, the numbers are smaller, so maybe that is a big difference. I'm not really sure. I wonder if there's like an all-in-one thing that you could dose. Almost like a mixed bag of nuts, you know? Like you dose this substance right here and it's that nutritional little protein powder thing that you need that gets exactly the formula that you need to make your numbers in check. If somebody hasn't made that yet, they should absolutely make it. Custom dosing bottles. I'm giving you guys million dollar ideas right now. All right, taking it down to the minor elements. I don't have a lot of green arrows. Like I do, but I have a lot of red arrows too. Lithium is low. Literally like more than double low. Not good. Silicon is good which is good that it's in my tank because silicon is what was off in the RO for some reason, but it's okay in my tank, so that's good. Iodine is low as well, very low, like 40 difference. I know a lot of people dose iodine. I know a lot of people say, nah, you don't need it. Some are like, yeah, the zoas need it. They grow better color, but it's also, I think, like very tricky. You could easily overdose it, so... I don't know, should I start dosing iodine? Barium is good, molo, but I've never even heard of these things. Molybdenum, molybdenum is six difference. Like, 
my nickel's good. That's good. I got bad in a hundred. All right, and the manganese. I think I was at the Weston Frag Swap, and one of the vendors had some awesome ganis there, and I mentioned to him that I have no luck growing ganis. They just don't fully extend in my tank, and I'm pretty sure the thing that he said that I need is manganese. So, if that is the case, and manganese is needed for ghani growth, or ghani extension, this makes perfect sense because mine is not reading anything and 0.93 is the ideal levels. So maybe I should consider getting some manganese. All right, and then all the rest of these are good to go. Here's where you guys are gonna probably yell at me. I don't know why this is reading so high. My nitrate is usually high, but like this, this is showing really high. That's what I'm saying. Like, how is my stuff doing so good? The ideal value for nitrate is two. My value is 46, 46 nitrates. I'm pretty sure I, I, we know why I have the Sino. I just can't seem to fix it. 44 escalated on the nitrates. That is absolutely terrible and unacceptable. Phosphorus is reading 156. It's supposed to be 13. Let's call it 14, 13.95. Let's call it 14. And mine is 156. I'm speechless. Phosphates. 0 0.04 is the ideal. I am at 0 0.48. 0 0.48. That is so high. So high. Please drop some suggestions on how to get them in check. I'm trying to fix the issue, not just like wipe it out. I want to, obviously something is causing these spikes. I do have GFO but I have not ran it yet. Do you think that will fix my issue? If you see my last filtration video, you know that I have filter floss, I have the Purigen, the Chemi Pure, and uh, ceramic rocks and pebbles in the back right now. I have GFO on deck ready to go. I'm just not sure if I should mix it with the other stuff or not. Everything else is uh, green and good to go. This also gives you like, the ATI gives you like the recommended dosage of what you should do to try to get your levels back up to par this was pretty eye-opening like i knew my levels were high but seeing them like this is just like being that my package was misplaced for a while i asked them i was like well does the extra extended heat like cause the water to go bad or does it cause you know the levels to not be read properly and they were like no we did a bunch of tests where the the vials stayed in the heat and the cold and all this stuff for extended periods of time and nothing affected the results. So I don't think that is any sort of issue. There you have it guys. Those are the full results from my ICP test from ATI on the Red Sea Max 250. Honestly, I thought things were gonna be a little bit better considering how stuff grows in my tank. If you guys are experienced in, you know, the reef chemistry and all that kind of stuff, let me know what you guys think I should worry about and what I really shouldn't worry about too much. Like I know I'm probably gonna start dosing iodine just a little bit. I know if you do too much, it could be really bad. That's the thing. Like, I don't want to mess with it too much considering everything is growing and doing good. For the giveaway winners, it was so great to meet you guys. Thanks for sharing pictures of your tank and coming out to pick up your coral. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. We've got new fish videos every single week. You're going to want to be here for it. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next one. Later.